Hi, welcome to Sackable, your all-in-one solution to building stunning websites with the WordPress block editor. This video is all about stackable blocks. Stackable blocks are used to add different elements to your website, such as button, cards, carousel, headings, and more. You can find the stackable blocks inside the inserter, the plus icon on the top left corner of the editor. Let's add a block. Some blocks will include a layout picker just like this. Just select a layout you want to go with, and you're all set to start designing. All blocks automatically have a bottom margin set at 24px. You can adjust this by dragging the yellow marker at the bottom of the block, and you can also hold shift so it moves in increments of 8px. The inspector is where you will find the settings and controls of all the blocks. Simply click settings on the toolbar and make sure you're in the block tab. Each block has layout, style, and advanced controls. The layout tab, as the name suggests, contains all the settings that are concerned with setting up the layout of your block, like block width, content width, content alignment, content minimum height, content max width, content horizontal alignment, and even flexbox controls like inner block direction, inner block justify, inner block alignment, and inner block gap. This is also where you can find size and spacing controls, such as paddings, margins, and more. If you're not sure what a control does, most of them have a help tooltip. You can hover over the control name, and it will show you what it does. Some blocks will have a container panel and it is located at the bottom of the layout tab. You may toggle this off or on. The container panel includes different controls as well. In here, you can also adjust the minimum height, maximum width, container horizontal alignment, and the paddings inside the container. The cell tab contains controls that will add to the design of the block. This is where you can add color, Orders, shadows, and separators. To add the background, whether it is a color or an image, you will have to turn on the toggle on the background panel. Additionally, if you turned on the container in the layout tab, you will find its design controls in the cell tab. Otherwise, these panels will not appear. You can also add separators to your block. And like the container or the background panels, you'll have to toggle them on. The last tab called Advanced is for controls that are more complex. This is where you can add a link to your block, find general controls, adjust the block's position, add transitions, effects, custom attributes, custom CSS, and even conditional display. The advanced tab is also where you will find responsive controls that will hide the plot on desktop, tablet, or mobile. Moving on, let's better understand the hierarchy of blocks. A block structure is very easy to understand. Let's open the list view. The top level is the parent block, and nested inside it are inner blocks. Here, the parent block is the call to action, and you will see that it is comprised of the heading, text, and button group blocks. In other blocks like the columns block, nested under it are inner columns, where you can add blocks. 
From this example design, you will see the parent block is the columns block and under it are inner columns. Each inner column contains different blocks that we've added to populate it with content. Each inner column can also be turned into a container, which we've explained that you can toggle on inside the layout tab. One of the key advantages of using blocks on Sackable is the fine level of control you have over the design of each individual box. This structure allows you to fine-tune and customize every aspect, ensuring that your website reflects your unique vision and style. That's it for the basics of Sackable Box. You've now learned the essentials of working with Stackable Box. Hopefully, this will help you unleash your creativity in creating websites using Stackable. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more Stackable updates, tips, and tutorials. You can also join our Facebook community or visit our website for more information. We'll link them down below.